What I have here is a Bendex Norbremsa air disc brake caliper setup. And I want to show you a new tool for servicing these disc brakes. It's the LTI 891 air disc brake retainer removal and installation tool. Now, the reason I made this tool is because in a training video, they show you uh, a caliper set up like this at hip height on a stand and the guy's pushing down with it and releasing the pressure and trying to remove this pin. Well, that's all well and good when it's brand new and on a stand, but the reality is these things could be under a fender, um, on a drive axle application or a trailer application and they're gonna be clocked 90 degrees from this, like a three o'clock, nine o'clock position. And it's just not that easy to push against that in those positions, especially if you're at ground level on a creeper. If you push on it, the creeper is going to push you back and it makes it real hard to do this. Now, with this tool, all you have to do is insert it in here, push down, and there you have it. It's released just that easy. I just showed you the removal. Now I'm going to show you how to install the retaining plate with new pads and a shield. First, we put the shield in, okay? And this thing works with or without the shield. The older ones have no shield, the new ones do have a shield. And there's a little bit of a difference. With, with a shield in place, you can't get up in here in the front. You're gonna have to catch it behind right about here. So you put it together like that and then push down, install your pin, lift up, rotate it, and kick it out. And that's it.